Good evening, everybody. It is Frontier Scum Night at the Adventure Archive. And uh, let me introduce this three scum we got here. We have Jess playing Lamsley Rotgut Pains. She's a discharged deputy with a hook hand. Well, a hook for a hand. But she's also artistic, right? You're a writer and you like to read to your horse. Where is your horse? We're not sure. And of course, next up, Ryan playing Slim Gambit. The most handsome Slim. man you've ever I'm seen. Slim. He's Slim. <laughs> Slim <laughs> Gambit. The most piercing you eyes you've ever man? seen. That has possibly gotten him in even more trouble than casual loitering. Was I just casual <laughs> loitering? Oh. I don't know. And finally, we got Andy playing Wesley. Bad luck, bad. He is a ghoulish undertaker. He's uh, small in stature, but uh, big in personality? I don't know. But he is the one who led the charge into this last train car we have here with the uh, mutant splayed or was splayed upon the surgical table. But before we get started, let us thank the mighty McGlintlock for uh, creating this foundry module for us to uh, enjoy this game. And you'll see that everybody is hovering 50 feet higher than they were last time. So it was an elevation thing. However, I shouldn't have to do this. So I don't know. Maybe it's a bug. Either way, we can see the tokens now. Oh. Wait, what, what What happened? We were like way up top or something? No, you guys were low. So I, oh, I tested no. it through all of the different scenes and I thought the setting had changed, but it's exactly the same across the board. So why in this scene? I have to move you guys 50 feet up. I don't know, but it should be fine for the rest. Hopefully, unless something breaks. But that is all I got. Um, do we have anything else to announce to talk about? Any questions from the players, comments, nothing? Don't forget, it's a new session. You got an ace. Oh. Well, you guys never use any never aces. Got rid of my old ace. We got guys... really, Well, we never really. We didn't really roll for a whole lot last no, time. No, you didn't. You didn't. Yeah, it was interesting. Uh, there was no combat yet, but maybe that's going to change tonight. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how right. far these guys get. All right. Well, I will do a brief recap. So these three scum, they woke up in a prison cell on a train uh, heading somewhere to be hanged for their crimes. The dastardly crimes that they have done in the past. They uh, they escaped with the uh, with the sleight of hand from Wesley Badluck Bad. He got those uh, that, that key ring out. He, they were generous enough as well to, to, uh, to unshackle the rest of the prisoners, even though, strangely, they were lying about, uh, wounded, almost as if they were drugged up. They made their way through the train car after uh, having some some very, very delicious stew. At least I think Bad Luck had some. I don't think the other two, right? Yeah, Lemsley and Slim. Yeah, and that's tickling your belly right now. But uh, you guys unleashed a bear. You guys found a, 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 um, a train car full of animals. But you ran to the back because all of these lawmen were in pursuit. All of these prison guards were in pursuit because they discovered you had left your cell. You let a bear out and just took off. You, however, did hear the uh, repercussions of those actions uh, while you made it down into another train car, which was this strange small room full of these uh, taxidermy composites. Strange animals, parts, heads mixed on different, different things. And then you guys are actually bad. He went into the very next room and he found a surgeon, a doctor, working on another creation. And that creation uh, appeared to be a harpy after a bad... So, um, narrowly missed his attack with his spade as the, uh, as the surgeon had his hand or his head against the, um, the, uh, the harpy to, uh, show his admiration, to demonstrate to, to bad that, uh, this was in fact such an amazing thing. The harpy gutted this doctor, flew out, well, trampled out of the door, slammed it shut. The doctor was begging for this, uh, bag of syringes. And didn't that brought him, to him. Didn't, didn't want, want to, want to give, give it to him. him. Yeah, but then uh, he he did, and his gut slithered right back up into his belly, and he was all right. But, right up inside him. You right know? up inside him. But um, <laughs> no, not not the not the back way. I never but, said anything uh, about the back way. I don't know where your mind's going. You went like this, like as an upward motion. Well, they were out, and then they went back <laughs> up in. <laughs> All right, all Jason, right. Jason, Jason, Jason. <laughs> and then they learned that these uh, these mutants, there are more of them 
on the loose, trying to fix into, one might say, stop this here Oregon Rail. And um, in a, to in agreeing to help him in this plight, he offered each of them 500 silver if they succeed, as well as their freedom, because he owns this train here. And that is where we're going to pick it up tonight with uh, part two of Escape the Oregon Rail. Do uh, do uh, I talked to Carl Druid a little bit about yeah. that last session because he hit me up after he did the thing, and um, it's funny. Should I give you the insight that he gave me about this <laughs> on stream? Sure, go for it. I mean, as long as it's not a spoiler, he, I don't think so. He, but he was like, It's really fun to watch a group that didn't immediately murder the doctor because every group has, and I'm like, Well, it's right, and he tried, and he tried, he tried. yeah. He missed. But well, he failed, so we get to see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be I'd be curious why people think they need to go guns out without talking to this guy first. Okay, okay. Let, let me let me talk. I mean, yeah, let's I let, let's let's hear the oh, tell us about the wannabe murderer. So, right, right. That. Okay. So uh, being a veteran dungeon master, killing NPCs without talking to them, I know is a no no. But you There's fuckers did it all the time for two <laughs> years. Right, right, right. Yeah. Well, group, group, you know, and we're in an evil campaign, all that stuff, you know. What, what. Uh, but in this instance, like, I was, like, balancing back and forth between, like, the character that I created would want to murder this person because obviously they're doing bad things and uh, they're an evil person and he murders and kills evil things because that's what what his entire existence is now and that moment where he's like holding the 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 uh spade up about to strike and then speaks i was just like okay i can't just kill this guy without talking to him and then it was just like more evil more evil more evil and then like literally puts his head down on the table it's like yeah when you when you stick your neck out to the knife it's just like is he giving me the opportunity to kill him now so anyways <laughs> Yeah, it would have been interesting to see uh, the, how that would have turned the tide if you would have killed him. Probably pretty bad. Yeah. I mean, I guess you'd have less information, maybe. Right. But you never know. Alrighty, right. Well, you three scum. You're hanging out in here. Mr. Vulchesta. He's off um, over here, tidying up. Here's if he's uh, getting ready for maybe another experiment. And he already motioned for you guys to go yonder down the toward the front of the train to go stop these mutants or attempt to. If that is what you choose to do, what would you like to do? Did he ever explain to us exactly how and when we're going to be like pardoned like are the rest of the train people not gonna try to kill us anymore like the soldiers and stuff <laughs> or is that like after we kill the harpy uh i think i mean he didn't say any of this stuff you're you're, you're more than uh welcome to ask if you'd like to speak with him still he's still in the room yeah or in the i asked him that you asked i was him like that. when 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 does this stuff kick in uh well after the all of the the mutiny is 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 has ceased after all of the mutants are are taken care of so we we still while, well, let me i just want to make sure that we're on the same page here while we're trying to kill this mutant creature that you created wait 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 we're also plural there are others that have escaped amazing wonderful news fantastic while we're doing that dodging claws and beaks and all sorts of stuff we got to dodge your soldiers on your train too oh of course not uh this is of course a train which goes in one direction so yep, chug -a -chug -a -choo -choo. Um, all of the guards should be at the back you should be fine unless others Wait. have gone elsewhere but uh the engine is ahead should be no more there guards. There ain't no guards I, that way. Uh, I can't keep track of all of them, but... Um, 
can't make you got no like intercom can't make an announcement like hey these guys are cool leave them alone kind of situation <laughs> uh, there is no way i can give an announcement unfortunately but um perhaps if you run into well, one then, you can I mean, explain you can show the syringe i gave you i mean where else would you right, have got such a thing right, right, that will prove right, your like, allegiance to me and my my even if we get to the front and murder all these beasties if we run into a guard on the way back, we could just get killed anyway. How are you going to tell? Like, if you can't tell them now, what are you going to tell them? Well, do you wish me to endanger myself and, and go forward where the mutants are running hey, rampant? You got lots of syringes, is all I'm saying. <laughs> I, only have, right back up in you. I only have three, and I gave you the remaining three I had. All right, all right. Listen, I was just trying to clarify. Um, bad, a choice. Bad's gonna tug on on Slim and Lemsley's uh, uh, coats or whatever they're wearing and kind of be like, "Don't think we have much of a choice. Uh, we're gonna have to fight these things, or else get off the train. So let's fight these things, and maybe he pardons us and gives us money, or we face the guards again and." But there's always a third option. Maybe we get to the front, uncouple the train, go where we want. He looks back just to make sure that the doctor isn't listening. No, he's uh, he's uh, he quickly went back to his work, humming that very familiar song you remember when you first stumbled upon him. Oh, uh, is it the the Charlie the Choo Choo song? Sure, yeah, the Charlie the Choo Choo song. <laughs> show you guys charlie the choo-choo sometimes it is just <laughs> terrifying i looked it up it's a it's a it's a um dark tower kids get a kid's book no no so so it's like a um the current revision of it is just like a a, a new telling of a of an old train story from like the 1930s but the art is in a style that uh, who's the the writer of uh Dark Tower. I'm. I'm not. Stephen I'm King. Not. Yeah. Ooh, I'm he, looking it up. Yeah, he he mm. in, endorsed it. Like, if I wrote kids' stories, this would be like the the story kind of story I'd write. And it's it lives up to um, that uh that endorsement. He looks sus. Yeah, he looks like the kind of train that would eat kids. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Anyway, so you guys are standing here. We've been derailed. You've been yes. derailed. Let's get back on track. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what would you like yeah. to do as this train car is just rattling away? As uh, Vulchesta is working? We have to get on moving. All right. Yeah. Bad's going to start hobbling in the direction of the door. Okay. You head to the door. Let me transfer you to the new car. Are you, um, when you're between the cars, are you going to be doing anything, listening at doors, et cetera, et cetera? Sure. Yep. Um, Good idea. Ba Bad's looking up because yeah. the thing that left had wings. Okay. Like he's, he, he doesn't just like walk out the door. He walks out the door, sees there isn't anything in front of him, and then like trains the gun up as he like steps across. Okay. So you step outside again, that hit, that wind just hits you, that hot wind, and you're kind of almost knocked off your feet. Um, but you look up, you do not see a single harpy in the sky, but you do see those blood vultures, those big black blood vultures circling this train as if it is a corpse and not a moving train. And ahead of you is the next train car with a door closed and also a ladder leading up. If you'd like to explore the uh, the upper regions of this train car, <laughs> I feel like it might be worth a look. Okay, all right. So I don't want to get up on top. I just want to stick my head up on top to see if there's anything like, okay on top of the train. Yeah. So you climb up this ladder. The wind is even more powerful. You know, being just. Um, uh, not blocked by the train car itself. You breathe a bunch of this black smoke that's just common on the train, but you don't see anything up top. You see the top of this train car. Nobody's standing up there. 
No harpies. Just the birds. Big black birds circling above. Climb on down. Okay. You climb back down. I have a peculiar feeling that you were a creature like that. Wouldn't you just fly far away from here? Why would it go back in the train? I mean, it's fresh made. Maybe its wings aren't, you know, up to snuff. Maybe it needs time to, you know, rest or get its bearings, you know? Mm. I mean, fledglings don't fly. Hmm. Well, who's going first? I'll go. All right. I'll listen to the door. You listen to the door, and again, it's so loud out here, right? The train on the tracks, the wind howling in your ears. You try to isolate it as best you can, and you don't hear a thing. I'm going to peek in. All right, you peek in. And let me switch you over. Is everybody following or is she just going to be... Actually, you know what I can do? Yeah. I can have you guys here. I'll have her here. And I will activate this here map. So you guys, look inside. And what do you see? Ooh. So you smell. The air is thick with the smell of blood and iron and you see a bunch of prison cells they're open the bars are destroyed dented falling off their hinges uh, blood all over the floor and you see in the distance lemsley a bunch of dead guards lying about can't quite tell from here how many but they don't look to be moving their chests are torn open bleeding profusely well have bled profusely. You don't see any chests rising or falling. No movement whatsoever. Huh. I wonder what happened here. Well, the coast <laughs> is clear. <laughs> mm. Be careful of the dead, Lemsley. Just because they aren't breathing doesn't mean they're going to stay down. Oh, that's right. Didn't you get in trouble for playing with dead bodies? Why don't you keep your hands to yourself? <laughs> I told you that was a misunderstanding. I was putting them back. No funny business. Just making sure they were where they were meant to rest. And bad when he's walking by the dead, like keeps his gun trained on the, the mutilated dead, even though they're dead. Okay. Suspicious of them. All right. Nobody seems to move, but uh, what about uh, Slim and Lemsley? Are you guys armed? Are you guys yeah. got your, oh, yeah. your rifles oh, yeah. ready? Your What do you got going yeah, on? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I definitely have a shotgun ready. Okay. Well, I yeah. got... Mm, what kind of gun does uh, Bad have on him? Just a revolver or what? I have a, a repeater rifle. That's it. Oh, okay. All right. And what kind? And you have a shotgun. So I'm currently, I currently have, yeah. So I have a hunting rifle and a revolver. I guess I'll have the hunting. And I'll have the revolver ready, though, on the belt. All right. Of course. Yeah. Revolver on the belt. Hunting rifle on my hand. Yep. 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 All right. All right. Are you guys uh, moving through or are you. Taking a gander? Okay. So yeah, can uh, we, um, can I, I mean, I would like to at least peek and poke around a bit, see if there's yeah, anything yeah, of course. good in here. Like, is there more bullets? Is there more, do they have guns? Like, are they lying on any keys if I kick Ooh. them? Stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. So you, uh, yeah, you poke okay. around a little bit. You kick over some bodies. You get a little blood on your boot. But you find absolutely nothing, unfortunately. No weapons. Mm. So there's no. some spent some spent shells, but uh, yeah, the weapons are missing. Strangely, the mutants have armed themselves. Oh, right. No. no ammunition, huh? Okay. Yeah, nothing. Unfortunately, not a single bullet. Not a single bullet. 
No keys. Damn. No keys. All right, so you guys make it all the way to the end. You're facing a door. All is silent with the exception of the rattle of the train and the uh, the broken um, prison cell doors. What do you do? Dad's going to open the door slowly again with his rifle. All right. Looking out. You got, you got the, this little guy just poking his rifle right out the <laughs> crack's worth of door. Okay. You open it up, and you see much of the same. You were assaulted by the uh, black smoke and the uh, the, t the hot wind, but all you see in front of you is another train car with a closed door. Okay. Uh, he looks at Lemsley like, uh, and, oh, training the gun up, training the gun up, and walking across. <laughs> Yeah, same. Okay. So you guys walk across, and what's the uh, marching order? Is Lemsley in the front, or is Bad in the front now? Um, I'm kind of by the next uh, train car, but I'm waiting for Lemsley to open the door and go in, because <laughs> he doesn't want to go in. Okay. I'll bring up the back, I guess. It's kind of like, if yeah, they're I'll looking forward at all, kind of like sway back. Yeah, because, I mean, she can shoot right over top of him. Oh, that's true. You know. Okay. Just All right. Don't take my don't don't take my head off of that scatter gun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you open the door to the next car, and you definitely mm -hmm. see something that you oh. did not expect whatsoever. Inside, you see extravagant paintings on the walls. These heavy bookshelves also lining the walls and the spaces. You see desks but most importantly you see three figures rummaging around just pulling books off off the shelves throwing the shelves down kicking stuff up tearing open sofas tearing the paintings from the walls and what you see is a man that is twisted in his form first and foremost and he appears to have some kind of a, a crocodile head. And he's drooling his jaws, and he's just tearing at things with his claws. I didn't mean to rhyme, but I did. You also see uh, in the distance a, um, a uh, another figure sitting on a couch, and he appears to have very furry arms and legs. And even farther down, you see somebody you can't quite make out. Again, this is almost like double the length of a normal train car. Yeah, it's a big old car. Yeah, it's a big old car. But the sun is coming in through these tall windows that run pretty much floor to ceiling. They're closed. It's a lot of um, upscale stuff in this room. Then... Even though you're quiet, you see the uh, the nostrils of this crocodile man sniff the air, and he turns around, uh -oh. and he looks at you, and he stands there. He has no weapons in his hands that you can see of, and he pauses, and then he goes back to what he's doing, just starting tearing the place up. Uh. Uh, the coast is not clear, but they don't seem to care that we're here. Let me zoom out a bit on stream. I don't think I can get everything, but I will get about that much. So Lemsley, you're walking in and, uh, you know, again, you're walking by these bookshelves that have been just thrashed. My gun is out and I'm still kind of like cautiously walking. Okay. You're going to walk just straight ahead. Is there another way I could walk? Well, I wasn't sure if you were looking around or just oh, just beelining yeah. it down the center, no, no, no. Well, or what? No, I want to like check out the the bookshelf, I guess, but definitely keeping my attention at Crocodile Man. Okay, you you check the shelf and there is a a book that doesn't quite look right. You open it up. 
and you see cut out of the pages is a depression holding a slot's worth of pistol slugs. Oh. Does anybody have a pistol? Um, Bad takes the book from you and, tur <laughs> and turns around and hands the book to Slim with no explanation. <laughs> Okay. All right, I'm gonna continue. Uh, so are you passing the bookshelves and going elsewhere? Um, yeah, I guess this desk, if nothing else, looks interesting on the bookshelves. Okay. You check this desk. And you find six bottles of high-end liquor. Ooh. Six drinks each. Which will make you drunk. Mm. Don't forget, Lindsay getting drunk, drunk gives you two points of damage. So one drink gets you drunk or six drinks get you drunk? Hmm, good question. I would say, I'd say uh, one drink. One other, drink other, otherwise, drunk. I'm not sure why it would be specified as six drinks each. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it's high, high, high end liquor here. We're talking top shelf. There are six now, bottles, and each bottle has six drinks. Dang. You said oh, just liquor. Is it is it clear? Is it brown? It's in a it's in a brown bottle. So it looks brown to you. I can find out. Oh, uh -huh. we got somebody who wants to get a little tipsy. <laughs> Lamsley. I did get fired for or no, not fired. I'm wanted for drinking on the job. Yeah, you are rot gut. So. Crunk. Yeah. Rot gut is right. <laughs> for your getting drunk and trying to arrest the sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> My well, leg. I did not shoot the deputy. Open it up, sniff it. If you had any nose hairs, they're long gone. <laughs> you kind of stumble back a step or two. Your eyes roll back in your head. This is some powerful stuff. Are there any pros to being drunk in this game? <laughs> yeah. I mean, having a good time. <laughs> well, the way it works is you randomly exchange two abilities, right? Oh, okay. So it could very greatly change um, what kind of character you have while you are drunk. <laughs> maybe you're less agile. Maybe you're more agile. Maybe you have better luck. Maybe you have worse luck. But you take damage when you're drunk too? Yeah, you take, um, I believe it's two points of damage when you get drunk immediately. And then that that's, yeah. Is my HP, so. <laughs> so you can't drink. I can't drink. Wow, you only two, have two HP. HP. I only have two HP. <laughs> Jesus, you're fucking dead. And this yeah, I know. I know. I hope you're not tied to bed. Oh, <laughs> <Aww. laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> we gotta protect bad. Although I only have four HP, but you know I'll do what I can. Do I have? What the fuck am I? Uh, I'm back there. All right, so you guys I'm are creeping forward. Is any what what about what about Slim? Oh, go ahead, Lemsley. What are we gonna do? Can I tuck away like two bottles and like pass the other four back down the line? Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, just make sure you're keeping track in your inventory. I don't believe you have a lot of stuff anyway right now. Mm -hmm. That'll take two. All right. Hey, Drow. Thanks for the sub, man. Slim, you want the last two bottles? Well, yeah, I mean, we're all taken. Clink, clink in his pockets. Clink, clink. <laughs> so as you guys move your way down this train car, the other mutants are looking at you. But they seem to be as disinterested as the crocodile man was. They're going about just... There is there is some rage, there is some anger in their actions as they destroy this train car. I'd be mad too. 
Oh, yeah, I it's, forgot to mention, you also noticed they're wearing um, prison uniforms. I saw, I mean, I saw them stripes. Was he lying to us? I would not trust a, a man like that. Can I try to creep by Crocodile Man? Yeah, I'm going to try and creep by, too. Yeah, yeah, you walk by him, and he's like... <sighs> Like he's trying he to just, talk to us? No, nah, he's just kind of <laughs> breathing hard. He doesn't look like he feels very well whatsoever. What about anybody else? Is anybody searching these bookshelves, looking for anything in particular, any goods, or are you guys just making your way all the way down? Yeah, I'll uh, take a peek. I mean, if she went through the bookshelf, I mean, I could... Did we look at this desk at all here? Yeah, that's where she found... Yeah, that's where she found the liquor, but anyone is welcome to search. Yeah, I mean, I'll take a peek at both as I'm kind of bringing up the rear. How do I do a fucking hand again? I thought it was just X. Actually, if you um, long, if you just hold long press on a oh, mouse. Oh, they got rid of X and just added the yeah. ping. Well, X was actually X was actually a mo an add-on. This is now default just in Foundry. Yeah. Oh, I like the hand. I can right, bring whatever. it back. I can bring it back. No, it's fine. We can ping. So yeah, I'll 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 meander through the the shelves and the desk if they've walked okay. past crocodile man and we're yeah, fine yeah 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 so i mean start... if the gm asks you twice you say yes <laughs> you guys start or you start looking through these drawers and why don't you roll me a d66 okay well no shit wait um oh i have a macro for that there's a macro for that oh we got a bless yeah. from Drow, oh. thank you, thank, thank you. Drow. Let me give Jess a bless, which reminds me, folks, if you get this, did not see, we are doing blesses and banes in this game. Didn't we get blesses from somebody last time, or am I just making that up? Ah, man, I don't remember. I don't remember because I have not. I don't know, Janelle anything. gave me one too. So. Oh, okay. Um, All right, Slim Boy gets one too. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Janelle. Best neighbor. <laughs> oh, and, and also Bad gets one, huh? Sweet. I will probably need it. <laughs> How do we not have a finger gun Z mom? Yeah. I know. Uh, oh, Janelle, no. you had to go and ruin it. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Thank you, Janelle. Bang. I will bane. <laughs> I will bane, bane, bane. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, but guy. he's all powerful. He can just smote us. <laughs> did you roll me a D66 yet, Ryan? You did. I did. 14. You find a silver rope. A length of silver rope. Mm. Silver rope. 30 feet. Pure silver. Thirty feet of silver. You just it's, found yourself a fortune. Yeah, that's, well, that's, well, that's, a, it's, that's a million. Yeah, dollars. it's silver in color. Whether or not it's actual oh. silver, who knows? Does it feel like rope or does it feel like silver? Doesn't feel metal. Let's say. That's okay. I mean, I mean yeah, yeah, yeah. so but it's it's like those antibacterial pillowcases that are yes. like have silver in them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they're like, you know. Yeah, it's exactly. Okay. I'm going to feel richer. Okay. Um, Bad's going to... Actually, he's curious about this bear. This bear looks like it's got something on its waist here. What the heck is this thing? You going to look at the bear. You look at the bear, and you find a holster. Why oh. in the hell... Is a giant stuffed bear wearing a holster? You do not know, but you dig deeper. You inspect. And inside that holster, you find a revolver. It is pearl handled and silver plated. And you see the number 16 is engraved on it. Mm. On the other side, you also see the word spit etched in it. With a capital S. So this revolver is a plus one revolver. 
So you'll get a bonus to your attack if you decide to use it. Um, you can tell this is a very, very valuable revolver, though. Why it was on the waist of this bear, you have no idea, but... Hidden in plain um, sight, I guess, right? Bad's gonna unbuckle it from the bear. Okay. Uh, is it loaded? Oh, yeah, it is. You've um, got a slot's worth of ammo as well. Now, that's a mighty fine-looking revolver you got there, old man. Yeah, I don't care much for revolvers either. I, uh, well, uh, I mean, I don't mind them. I he got just, this pretty rope. I he, just found he just kinda, it on a... He just kind of offers it up to you. Nope, yep, I'll take it. That I sounds mean, like so, fair, I mean, fair trade to me. Well, rope? Tie up the dead? Do whatever you want with them? Wait, did you do yeah. something with the rope? I traded. Okay. Yep. Wow, All right. okay. All right. Yep. All right. Does it, does it look like these guys are like looking for something or just destroy mode? Uh, looks like they're destroying. Okay. I want to look at these uh photos on the wall. Anything interesting? They're paintings, but uh okay. no, nothing particularly interesting. Looks like the collection of a wealthy man. Okay. I'm sorry, you said plus one silver revolver with what engraved on it? 16? The number 16, yeah. And also, the word spit, as if it's named spit. I wonder if Swallow is out there somewhere. Wah, wah, wah. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm going to check out this bookshelf. You check out this bookshelf, and uh, why don't you roll me a uh, roll me a, a wits? A what? Roll me a wits. Oh shit! Okay. Oh shits! Roll a wits. <laughs> All right. So you start moving this shelf. You start r uh, rummaging around inside it. And something Wait, with what? the weight shifts, and oh, it, and wow. the the train rocks, and it starts falling down on you. I need you to what? roll me a uh, <laughs> roll me a slick, please, to see what if you. What does the ace do again? Uh, allows you to re-roll. Okay. Re-roll. What? What's? What's? Ooh, are, we, are we having a bless first with our bless rolls too? Yes, oh. that is always mm. the rule. Okay, I will bless my slick. You're not going to use your ace? All well, right. We'll see. <laughs> right? No, no, no. You got to you got to you got to bless. Oh, you want to roll first and then okay. That's fine. Why don't you just re-roll the those one you just failed? Uh, I don't know. All right. So did you roll well, a d4? Yeah. 18. Okay, Select. you slickly j leap out of the way as this bookshelf crashes down. And hits Slim, who's right next to me. No. Just nah, he was, he's, he was out of the way. He was <laughs> just out of kidding. The way. This one was for you. Alright. Bad climbs up over the top of the tipped over. What was that? Are you okay? Yeah, I, I don't know what happened. Books are dangerous. Indeed. So you going. see this gentleman, this gentleman who, uh, again, he is, he's a cross with something. He's got very furry arms and legs, and he's pouring over this what appears to be a journal. And he keeps turning the pages. He, he turns them slowly at first and then more frantically. And you can see him becoming agitated. And he goes, Rah! and he tosses it across the room, turns, flips over the couch, slams against the wall, shatters, not shatters, splinters. And he starts stomping his way down here toward the bed. Bad's gonna go over and pick up the journal. You pick up the journal. It's kind of covered with drool. 
because he's been, you know, dripping all over it. But you find out that this is the Journal of Vulchester. Oh, the man no. you spoke to in the last train car. Well, the last couple. So you find out a few things. That he has had a lifelong passion for taxidermy. By the time he was six years old, he had already stuffed his first pet. You also find out that he was a well-to-do snake oil doctor before encountering a patient nicknamed Naman, G-N-O-M-O-N, who had a peculiar affliction. You also find out he acquired the Morgan Rail cheap, so in fact, Slim was right. It used to be called the Morgan Rail. And he turned it into a prison train as a front for his exp experimentation. But he also had an assistant named Pastille. And uh, this person helps him dispose of failed attempts. Mm. But you see notes here that his assistant has recently gone missing. But he assumes that he's been, he's been eaten by the blood vultures that uh, circle the train's rooftops. And uh, he even borrowed one of Volchester's uh, revolvers, but he has not turned up since. You also find out that the uh, the life-giving properties of Noman's blood serum they keep the test patients or the test subjects from perishing during these procedures. And injecting this serum heals even the most fatal wounds, but the subjects are left with a strange mental bond to Noman and others bound by his blood. It appears as if you guys have some kind of maybe a telepathic blonde. Maybe a bond, maybe a lifeblood bond of some kind. Telepathic blondes. Telepathic blondes. <laughs> Gotta love them. Gotta love them. Um. And you also find out that in his research, you get to the back of this journal, you find that the, 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 the writing is almost becoming more mad looking. There's chicken scratches, but you are able to make it out. And his research, research suggests that Nauman's death will also kill anyone who is bound and painfully so. Wait, so if you take the serum? like That the... is what you're reading here in this journal. Or actually, that's what Bad's reading here. So if you take this serum, you are bound. But if Naman dies, it will also kill anyone who is bound with that serum or by that serum. Um, after reading this, he pulls the syringe out and just like tosses it on the floor. <laughs> and then relays the the same information to Slim and Leslie. In fact, let's let's imagine that he was reading all of that out loud, uh, like like as if Jason was voicing uh, bad. <laughs> Listen, all I can hear when you say that guy's name is Nom Nom. <laughs> nom 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 Nom. Like that's literally the whole time you're reading. Nom it's like nom you kill Nom Nom. Nom Nom is gonna get. <laughs> Yes, don't don't I kill don't this think we, I don't think we necessarily throw it away. What if we just inject someone with this and then they'll just die later? Now, wait a minute. That means now, now listen, I do have a decent wits. I do believe. Let's see if I'm smart enough. I got zero wits. I'm bang average. That means if we kill Nom Nom, we kill a doctor. And all the rest of these abominations. So I say we just kill Nom Nom. Yeah. Where's Nom Nom? So, bad, as you throw away this syringe, the individual who stormed away in anger comes back. He notices you toss this thing away. And he gets down on the ground, on his knees, and he picks it up in his hands. Where did you get this? Are you in cahoots with him? Uh, I tried to kill him, but he used one of these to save himself. And then found these in his laboratory. So where, where where is he? Does he still leave? Leave? He is that. He's, he's that, that way? way. Yeah, he's that, that way. way. That way. Yep. Which one's There's, talking to us? Is it is it Gator Man or the other one? Couch it's Boy? the uh, Couch Boy. He came back. Okay. All right. Who are you? What did he do to you? Look at me. I'm a freak. One of these fucking experiments. 
I woke up like this. What did he look like again? He's got like a uh, cougar arms and legs. I mean, uh, that ain't so bad. I, that's kind of cool. I just want you to know you don't look that bad. I mean, cougars are. I mean, ain't, ain't bad. Some Tiger people poodle. like cougars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Were you were you a prisoner? We we were prisoners too. I was indeed a prisoner. I used to be a factory worker in Covet City. Got up to no good, you know, and ended up here in this here train. And next thing I know, I wake up and I got these fucking arms and legs that are not mine. What's your name, friend? Uh, my name is uh, Kid Waterson. Kid Waterson. Well, it's nice to meet you, Kid. How about your friends, Bebop and Rocksteady here? Do they go by other names? <laughs> Excuse me? You're uh, the the alligator man, and, and I can't quite make out. So, you, yeah, you look at there. this other guy at the end of the car, and he looks like he has rat's ears. Steve, listen, now, you cougar or rat is all I'm saying. I say that quietly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, if you got to pick one, you got your own head and some sweet claws. I, it sucks, but could be worse is all I'm saying, friend. Well, are you here to help or are you here to hinder us? Uh, listen, I, I'm a, I'm, I've been considered a very helpful man. Um, and as know. you guys are talking, you see the, the crocodile man and the rat man start to slowly approach. They're very interested in this conversation. Almost as if they are ready to pounce, depending on how the situation unfolds. Well, how's it going, friends? How how we how how we doing? They remain silent. They're just staring at you. Um, ba bad pulls out a bottle of alcohol, and was like, "I don't know if this will ease your worries, but here, uncorks it and offers uh, it to Cougar Man Kid." So he um, he takes it, he kind of rolls it around in his hand, and he looks at it, and he's like, uh, I appreciate the offer, but I need to have a clear head for what I'm about to do. Well, we got to stop this man. here train. Let's do it. All right, he smiles, a big smile, and you see, in fact, his teeth are that of... A feline of some sort. Okay. What about his, did, can we see his tongue? Is it that like, like abrasive, like cat tongue? No, nah, he does like a closed teeth smile. You uh -huh. don't quite see his tongue. I bet he does though. Yeah, he could. He, could. he got a rough tongue. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll let, we'll let that one just hang in the air there for a little while. <laughs> now, what about your friends here? I just, now I'm, my name's Slim. This is old Lindsay Rotgut, and this little guy's here. His name is Bad. Proprietor. You know your kid. Well, yeah. that, that, that old boy over there, I, he just goes by Captain. That's all I know of him. And, like, he, and he talks. Captain that's Hook, to the. Crocodile. That's to the. That's to the crocodile guy. The rat is guy. It, is, he, is there like a clock that we can hear ticking in his belly? <laughs> no. He, uh, he points back to the rat guy. He's like, well, he just call him Trap. That's all his name. That's all he's told his name is. <laughs> this is funny. Damn. So the cougar's name is him, Kid. Yeah. yeah. Like crocodile sucking and the trap is rat. I get it. Little Carl Druid, you some bitch. Yep. You um, some bitch, Carl Druid. All right, well, well, let's go stop this fucking train. Now, a question for you. Did you see a winged um, person come through here? Maybe covered in blood? No, I did not. Mm, I, so I think here's here's a problem. Old fuckface over there, right, has not stopped experimenting. And uh, he, uh, when we went in that room and saw him, or he used the old syringe there, 
was messing around with some lady, I think, and she got wings. It doesn't surprise me. There's all manner of beasts in there. I mean, look at us. Yeah. Who knows yeah, what's coming next? Seems, That's why we got to stop right. this train. Let's fucking go. Let's do it. All right, then. You go on, look up ahead. We got some more business to take care of here. We got to right, make well, sure there, it's do done you know, proper. Do you know, is there anything else in here that might help us a bit? Are there, you know, any, you know, any, any like, weapons or any books, you know, yeah. that could give us some? Yeah, I, I found some of them, their syringes you, your, your boy tossed away, but I, I reckon you don't want any of that. I... I don't, I don't want know. anything to do with that doctor. Good on you, boy. Um, uh, that uh, that's actually going to go to the bookshelf and yeah. pull a random a random book out. Okay. Actually, he takes a moment to find the driest, oldest book he can find, and tears some pages out of it. Okay. And then walks over to kid and says, "You wouldn't happen to smoke, would you?" Well, it's been some time, but I've been known to uh, enjoy a, a pipe or two, but, I, you know, I'll take I just, what I can get. I'm just looking for a match. A match? Looking for a match. Oh. Hey, Trap, you got any matches? He's like, he kind of grunts, and he comes over, and he, he has a little box of matches for you. There's only a, a few left inside. I have one of your matches. Trap. He hands it to you. Thank you. And with that, uh, Bad's gonna gonna leave. <laughs> okay. So you guys are heading um, <clears throat> forward then. Yeah. Okay. You guys pass outside. Open the door. All right. So again, the wind is screaming outside, but you hear what sounds like gunfire coming straight ahead. Um, bad uh, pops the cork on his last bottle of spirits and takes that rag that he used to clean himself and gets a little bit of spirits on it and then mm. wraps it in the dry pieces of paper and sticks it in the top. Oh, and then, nice. And then holds, uh, hold, like basically is holding it in one hand and he's got kind of the rifle propped up in the other, um, ready to spring into action. Okay. What about Lemsley and Slim? Are you guys doing anything as you cross over to this next car? I have a gun out. Okay. I don't remember the rules on dual wielding. Is that a thing? That I believe I it's. Uh, I, I believe every shot is disadvantage. Every shot, or the first shot after the first, or no, I think it's work? every shot. So they're if I'm wielding two, both shots are fired at disadvantage. Let me uh, check. Take a look at this. Dual wielding guns is always a tough shot. Okay, so it's never um it's uh it's not disadvantage, but it's a tough shot. Uh I meaning you gotta roll for it as as opposed to actually hitting automatically. Oh, that's right, guns hit automatically. Yeah. In ideal conditions. <clears throat> and I just gotta roll higher than a DR. Correct. Basically, if I dual wield, I gotta roll both and try to get above twelves. If I single wield, I could just I just hit. I mean, again, it depends on the conditions, right? So these are if we're talking ideal conditions. So if it's a tough shot already, there's not uh, there's no reason to not double right. wield. It's just saying, All yeah, right. it's saying it's always a tough shot. I don't know. There might be a circumstance where it just hits. I don't know what you guys are gonna do. We'll have to see. Now, my question is, if I'm holding both guns, can I choose to just shoot one on a turn if it's ideal and just shoot automatically? Uh, and it's like yeah, if, both if, it's a, if it's like a clear shot, yeah, of course. But I can be holding both. Yeah, 
I'll let you hold. It both. doesn't matter. There's none that says I can't pull no, no, belts no, no, and shoot no. it anyway. There's not tricky like that. So I have one revolver on the belt. I got the hunting rifle on my back, and I'm gonna be holding old spit, old spittoon here. Yeah. Plus one silver rifle in my hand. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Just a, just a reminder: tough shots <clears throat> in the book are outlined as if the visibility is not great, if the weather's not great, it's gonna be a tough shot. If the target is mm. small, moving fast behind cover. If the shooter is distracted, moving fast, or blind firing, and then obviously um, dual wielding. So we'll just kind of call it as we see it when, when we move on. All right, so you guys are standing between the train cars. Yeah. Do we want to go over this one? We might have to face those crows. Yeah, I feel like that's a uh, pretty bad idea. We could at least peek, and then we could always shut the door and scramble on up if we need to. Yeah. Let's just hope we don't get a bullet in the face. <laughs> I will... Go up to the door, I'll have my gun out, and I'll peek in. You and, peek uh, in, okay. Sure. Yes. And uh, what about um, Bad and Slim? Are you guys hanging back? Uh, Bad is going to get in a position standing on the other car, but with the, the bottles in his pocket primed and ready to go, just need to light it. But he sets his shovel down and like trains it so if lemsley opens the door and steps out of the way he can shoot into the car but uh you know gotcha. he just sets up okay i should have made these maps a little bigger on the outside but i think that'll be fine that's okay we can kind of just yeah see. yeah yeah we'll we'll just know where you guys are okay Lemsley, you peek inside this door, and you hear shouting, you hear screaming, you hear just rustling, things banging against the walls, you hear gunfire, and you just smell smoke, gun smoke, blood, gunpowder. And you can't see, it's, it's kind of dark in there, and there, you can just see these shadows kind of shifting about. You can hear the ricochet of bullets. And apparently, and, and supposedly, or well, presumably, you get down. Yeah. Totally. Definitely get down. Whoa. Okay. Holy. As so the smoke anything? begins to clear, <laughs> okay. as the smoke begins to clear, as your vision adjusts, you see this massive mutated creature just composed of all manners of limbs, heads, torsos, sitting there, crouched behind this. Um, you can see that there's uh, these walls. That are riddled with bullets. They're half walls. Same thing as here. This guy's crouching down. You see the harpy as well. But you also see this man who looks similar to the to, to the uh, the kid Watterson guy. Harry, almost berry like And you also see up head a woman with the body of a horse. Which you would know bad luck in your readings as a child as a centaur. And then sprawled on the ground even further ahead is this snake-looking man, bloodied, crawling back toward his friends, perhaps? Who knows? But even as more smoke clears, as maybe people are reloading, you see a collection of individuals at the far end. You see this, uh, this massive mounted gun, and they're, trying, they're reloading it right now. The rest of the guys have pistols, rifles, and it looks as though they're getting ready for another round. I think it's time to, to rock. Uh, I'm going to go back out, close the door. <laughs> okay, you go and back out say, and you... You know what? We might want to take our chances with those birds. <laughs> <laughs> it was so as you go back out i need you to roll me a uh a luck as these guns begin to fire again uh 
Okay. Uh, can I use an ace? <laughs> you want to use your ace? Okay, you can use your ace, or you can use your hat to avoid any and all damage to you. Uh, up I like to you. my hat. I'm going to try. Oh. Can I use a hat after I use an ace? Nothing uh, says you can't. Yeah, you can. Oh. I, I to. Okay, you dive out of the way, barely hanging on to this trail car as the as the, the howling wind is just ripping around you, but you also hear a ah! as someone appears to have perished. Oh. And you slam the door behind you, muting muting some of the gunfire. Yeah. Um, Bad's just gonna bolt up the the um the ladder to get on top. Okay. Let me uh, throw you up top. You scramble up this ladder, and you are now on the roof of this train car. What about everybody else? Yeah, I think I'm going to do that as well. Um, Bad starts walking across, keeping his eyes up, looking for some crows. Oh no. Oh Slam. no. You coming? I yeah, mean, what are you what are you doing, Slim? You can take a peek for yourself. Why'd he say oh no? Why are you saying oh no up there? <laughs> <laughs> just just imagining things in my mind. Get get up here, Slim. Alright. You up should be I able go. to can you can you move up there? Okay, yeah, I don't need to I don't need to drag you up there. All right, as this happens, you see these black vultures swooping down from the sky. Four of them. Let me find their damn tokens here. Now, you know what they need? Don't say go. They need a little ring around them, I think. <laughs> Vultures with guns. No, they don't have guns. They don't have guns. These appear to be the creatures that were uh, uh, mentioned in uh, in Volchester's journal as these. You, you'd imagine these are called blood vultures, perhaps. So these things are swooping down, and I need you guys. You roll you some initiative. Let me add you to combat here. All right, let's see if that worked. It did. All right. So let us um. Let's roll some combat, guys. D six. Oh, we got to roll the uh, the main initiative first, though. Let me do all this first and then uh So we got to roll a d6. 1 to 3 enemies go first, 4 to 6 players go first. Did somebody roll that d6? Was that slam roll on his for the the main initiative? Yeah. yeah, all right. All right. Okay, so um bat is this the is this the order here? Uh, Looks initiative like order. I rolled a one. <laughs> or just like marching order. No, marching order. Yeah. Yeah, I was the first one out. Yeah. So. Well, I would have maybe pushed you out of the way a little bit. <laughs> You're so sweet. That tends to be what I do. Okay. <laughs> so that's the plan. You're you're going ahead with your um. Yeah. Your uh okay. All right, so one of these, this one in the, oh shit, I grabbed everybody. This one in the lead swoops down and claws at you. Why don't you roll me a, uh, a slick to see if you get out of the way. Okay. Oh, actually, Ew. sorry, 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 a grit. No. I'll let you have that. I'll let you have that roll, though. Okay. I, so it's minus two. So you rolled a so 15. 15? Yeah. All right, you succeed. You get out of the way as these 
Razor sharp, razor sharp claws just swing in front of your face. And this next one swings up to bad over Lemsley's head. Why don't you roll me a grit as its claws come right at you? <sighs> who, who are you talking to? You, bad. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you also evade. I guess maybe because you're so small, perhaps. Yeah, there we go. And this final one. Let's see. Let's see who they attack here. Lemsley in the lead. This one comes down lower, swooping down and attacks you. Roll me a grit to see if you evade its beak. Okay. Uh, so, um, what do you want to do? Do you want to... You I got an ace, right? You never used yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll use the ace. Okay. Or I mean the uh, your cowboy hat. Oh, I have I had two aces. So I'll use How'd you get two habit. aces? Well, well didn't we roll an ace? Did you what? We rolled aces. What do you mean you rolled aces? You just oh, well, you just get one ace. you get one ace at the beginning oh, of the session. Oh, just one a day. Yeah. And they don't roll at the over. beginning of the session, correct? Okay. Yeah. You don't get well, to never mind. Aces. I get hit then. You don't want to lose your hat yet? Okay. I don't think so. Hopefully they don't do more than four damage. <laughs> they gouge you in the chest with a beak, and you take three damage. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Oh, that was supposed to be public, sorry. All right, so they have all gone. That means uh, you guys are up. Um, and up, you bad, it looks like you're first. Bad's going to uh, pull up his uh, repeater rifle and take a shot at one of them. Which one? Um. Gosh, whoever is probably the closest. The one yeah, right above you? Yeah. Just hovering there? Okay. Yeah. So this is going to be a tough shot because, again, the wind is screaming. Yeah. The train yeah. is, you know, They're rocking you. Fast yeah, too. exactly. Okay. Here we go. Go! Oh! Everybody loses their aces. Woo! Thing I use wow, look at that. I'm First sorry, roll. Wow, you son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, and I have to roll a, a luck, right, to see if I run out of ammo. No, no, no. That's only if you uh, fired. That's that's if you roll one on damage. Oh. Is there critical yeah. failures in this game? I forget. I don't I think mean, there is. Isn't that, isn't that kind of a critical... Results. Yeah, lo losing, losing the, uh, losing the hat. Yeah, or the, yeah, the ace. All right. So up next is, um, oh, I forgot to begin combat. Oops. Next, next, next. Slim, you are up. Is there? Is there what? I guess there aren't. Look at critical fails. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think so. I mean, yeah, losing losing the aces is bad enough for sure. Pretty bad. So you said these are tough shots, right? Oh yeah, these are tough shots. Um. So that means there's not a reason not to do two, right? Right. I I would definitely. I will definitely, uh, you know, do your finger guns. Yeah. I still don't understand why we don't have a finger gun emote at this point. Too many overlays to make, I guess. <laughs> no, I mean like uh, in the in the in our in our chat, you know. I mean? No, I know, but I'm just saying cuz I've been, I've been making a lot of graphics. Oh, you have been busy. <laughs> <laughs> Meh. Excuses about you there. <laughs> um All right. So you're right, going to well fire gonna, uh, off at who? Yeah, so I get a plus one, and then... Oh, yeah, you got your uh, your spit, right? Yeah, I'm going to spit at this motherfucker. Yeah. And then... All right, so I'll fire the first one at this guy. So it's just uh, the old D20 plus one, right? Yep. 
And this is going to be a... And now, in uh, this game, is it is it plus one to attack and damage with plus one weapons in Frontier Scum? I think it's only uh, to attack. I don't think it's damage, I'm pretty sure. All right, let's see what happens. You roll a right slick? Hands. You can just click on uh, your ooh. slick if you oh, want. Wait. Oh, yeah, 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 because that actually gives me another plus two. So that's uh, that's a 18. Oh, man. Yeah, you you uh, you strike true. Roll some damage for me. I gotta remember. I gotta look at what fucking revolver damage is. Good thing this is hyperlinked. And I don't know why I keep closing the book revolver. Is a D six just... and it's exploding, meaning exploding. If you, if you roll, if you roll a, a six, you also get another roll. I get to roll again. Yeah. There it is. There it is. Your revolver D six. All right. Let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Oh. oh shit! What does that mean? That means you lose a slot of ammo. That's all sucks. right. You've got three slots. You got three slots of oh. pistol ammo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You you hit, but um, some feathers like you know, go and some feathers just shoot off, but it is still flying. Yeah, that sucks. So. I'm down to two slots of ammo left, so that sucks. Um, and then I guess I'll shoot the same one again. Okay, so why don't you roll me another? I guess this one doesn't have this one doesn't have a plus one, I guess. Yeah, roll me another slick. Okay. Uh, boom. There's a slick. All right. Yeah. Eighteen, baby. You hit. So yeah. roll me some damage. Six. Come on. Six. Yeah. Three, all right. Three. This thing explodes in a big old mess of blood and feathers. The other right, blood so vultures kind of move around. But yeah, this guy is dead. Cool. Wait, let me make him dead. All right. So we are rolling again, everybody. Somebody roll me a D6 and let's see who goes first. Wait, I didn't go yet. Oh, sorry. Lemsley. What are you going to do, Lemsley? Mm. So, uh, I have a fly net. How big is that? How big is a fly net? A fly net? Yeah. I Let's say big enough to capture a vulture. <laughs> if that's what you want to use like it for. Like two? <laughs> no, I wouldn't say two. Dang it. Okay. Then I'll just try my gun. Fly net uh, looks like it's one of those, uh, <laughs> the ones little kids catch butterflies with. Okay. So it's on like a, a, a stick and it's got like the. Okay. Um, I will shelf that plan and. Remember you guys can move too. So you can, you can action move if oh, you'd like. Yeah. Totally like sp <laughs> not sprinting. I don't know how. Dang. How you're moving works. way over there. Okay. Well, you have a gun, so. Are you using well, your... I want to get off this roof. I have one hit point left. Oh. But I... Also... You got that syringe, but that would be yeah. bad news. I yeah, you do have the syringe. Um, all right, I'm going to try to kill this one with I'm surprised my... you're not trying to go the other way, but... Well, then go we have on. to go through this car, which is also like a impossible task. Was that a hint? No, 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 no. I'm just, I'm just thinking what I, I'd be like. I'm getting the fuck down out of undercover, but you do whatever you want to do. Going out in a blaze of glory. I am going to try to shoot one of these guys with my double barrel shotgun. <clears throat> okay. Which one? The one right in front of you? Yeah, I guess. So. Just okay. don't shoot. Okay, good. Say, don't shoot <laughs> behind you, because you know you get me and Slim back there. So what do I roll? Uh, you got to roll Frick. slick. Slick. Cool. Plus one. Okay. Yeah, you definitely hit. Okay, 
and says d6 are you doing slash... both barrels or are you doing a barrel yeah. at a time oh a barrel it's at time. basically a d6 for one and then 2d6 for both barrels so could i like try to shoot one and then try to shoot another one with another barrel with a different barrel i would say it probably have to no i would say that's probably your attack you get to choose one or the other uh okay because then, then that would that would be like two attacks you're getting yeah yeah i'll just I'll, i guess i'll go ham okay go ham roll yeah. me roll me 2d6 okay Okay, yeah, you just fire both barrels in this thing. Another explosion of blood and feathers. The wind spatters it back all over you. You get a feather in your mouth, plus spit it away. <laughs> that one is dead. How far can I run? <laughs> uh, I'll say you can make it probably... Hang on, let me change this. Oh, not invisible. Let me make him dead here. Uh... So you started what, like around here? Where were you? Mm -hmm. Right here? Mm -hmm. yeah, I'll say you could probably make it like midway, like down here. All right, midway it is. I'm going for it. All right, that is everybody. So somebody, what I want somebody to do is roll me a d6 that's going to uh, decide if the enemies are going first or you guys are going first. There are two me, blood me. vultures uh, still I it, I guess. flying around. Oh, no. Oh, dang. All right. No. Can I give up my hat to reroll? <laughs> no, your hat's for damage. Taking damage, you can lose your hat to... Uh, yeah, so there's always, there's always that chance to lose your hat. All right, so I will roll. Let's see. Uh, who wants to be one and who wants to be two? Bad or slim? I'll be two. All right. All right. This vulture swoops down. Actually, you know what? Let me, uh, it doesn't matter. We can just keep it loose, the initiative loose. Um, I need you to roll me a grit as it bears its grit? beak down at you. Some bitch. I'm going to just bless this. All right. Two. Oh, dear. So what are you going to do? Are you going to... Um... No, I'll take the hit. You want to take the hit? Okay. <sighs> We're going to pull a rat block sludge here. I got the most HP and everything, and I'll be the one that gets killed on the first shot. And I'm... <laughs> it's murdered by a flying... Well, remember, you can... You, well, I guess when you, when you see this damage, you can decide if you want to use your hat or not. Yeah. Four. Well, fuck yeah, I'm gonna use my fucking hat. Okay. I've only Slim. got five damage. Okay, Slim loses his hat to um, avoid all, right, all wait damage. A second. Wait a second, wait a second. What? There it goes. Yeah, now he's just got a beanie. Is this the beanie? <laughs> Cowboy hat's gone. All right, so this next one... Um... Actually, let me do a D2 again. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? I got to roll luck to see if my hat survives when I pick it up. Oh, that's right. Roll me a look. I, mean, I might as well roll it now because I'm going to pick yeah, it up yeah. and start a miniature. Yeah, but, like, of I'm course. Gonna roll, it now. roll your luck. Um, see if you find it or if you're able to. Oh, man. Your head is long gone, partner. Just in the wind. In the wind. That sucks. Is my hat now gone forever? Until you get a new one. Son of a bitch. I mean, you can probably find a hat pretty easily. There's a bunch of dead bodies. All right, All right. This, this other uh, vulture swoops down to you, bad. Lashes out with his claws. Okay, but your little wiry hide manages to dodge it. All right, who wants to go um, next? That is all the vultures. You, you guys, slim? you guys I mean, can choose. Yeah, fuck yeah, I'm gonna shoot right back at this motherfucker. All right. 
All right, Did I'm gonna roll uh... slick, but this is with my plus one. Okay. Did we did we find out if there's plus one of damage too? Because somewhere in this book it talks about plus one weapons, doesn't it? Maybe. Let's see. I feel like I remember it, but I don't. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to ask Carl. Hey, Carl. Hey, hey Carl, are you there, Carl? Shoot me a message. Yeah, I'll you know, it's funny. It says D6 plus one. This particular weapon said it was just a D6. Let me let me check it out again really quick. Because um, it didn't say like D6 plus one. It just said plus one. But... Well, my bless is gone. I got no ace. We'll find out. I don't think I don't think a one point of damage would have made a difference yet so far, oh. anyway. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see. All right. Uh, it's slick for for my gun, right? Uh, yeah. So first shot at the uh, the one that just took my hat right off my head, just swooped down and just knocked my hat right off. <laughs> um, shoot him right in the face. Okay, oh, you God. you hit. Roll me that bean damage. All right, you blow this thing all to shit. Brr! Another explosion of gore and fur, and this one. And then, second one shoots right past, right over Bad's head. Okay, roll me that slick. Oh hell yeah! I believe that's Very double nice. damage, right? Uh, I believe is that. Why do I keep closing this fucking document? <laughs> Frontier scum, playing the game, combat. Uh, da, 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 dum. Quick in the dead. I'm pretty sure it's a double damage, but yeah, confirm. Roll two dice and use the highest. Roll two dice and use the lowest. Morale, ace in the sleeve. Um, it's probably under the weapon section, right? Where's the old weapons? Because do I roll it twice or just double it after I roll? Let's I think it'd be see. roll it twice. That's typically how it works. Well, on... Yeah. So while he's, checks, while he's or not. looking that Skill up, what is checks. Leslie going to do? Now, wait a minute. Don't I get an... Wait. If you roll a natural 20 on an ability check, is shooting an ability check? Yeah, I would say. Oh, yeah, that's right. You get a... Uh, you get an ace. Or you get a skill, right? Yeah. Um. That's right. That's right. Now we're remembering. Or now I'm remembering. I'm just going to go for an ace. I'm going to get an ace back, and then I'm going to shoot this thing, and I don't see anything about double damage anywhere. Yeah, I don't see anything about double damage either. I don't I don't think that's... That's thing. not a thing. It's just, uh, it's they, just the ace. they exchanged it for I mean, the if you ace want, for the skill. If yeah. you want me to, uh, to roll double damage, I can, but I'll just roll the six. And you know what? I'll roll a six so that it explodes. Damn it, just a four, but this should be enough anyway. Yeah. This thing explodes again, and you guys are all... Alone on this train, except for the wind. And the smoke. Okay. So. What are you guys doing? Just fleeing to the other side of the train? Yeah, I'm keeping, keeping the guns out. Okay. Did anyone get injured besides me losing a hat? Yeah, Lemsley's. Yeah, Lemsley. I've got one well, we get to heal right point. after an encounter, right? Exactly. You do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, after a scuffle, heal D4 HP plus one for each smoke, drink, and nap. Oh. Yeah, so if you guys aren't smoke, drinking, or nap, then it's just a D4, yeah. Um, I got my stew. Does that count as a drink? That's oh, food, no. but... Yeah, why not? I mean... If I take a little stew break? Yeah. 
you take a drink of this here stew. I die. And you die. Instantly. <laughs> no, you feel all your wounds, the pains of your wounds go away. Roll me a d6. You recover four hit points. Do we already we have three? Do we all have gnomons like stuffing us from eating the food? No, no, no. That was just the uh, the syringes, at least to your knowledge, anyway. Okay, you guys. Uh, does anybody else need to rest, or are you guys all just climbing down the ladder to the other side? You hear more of that gunfire going on, though. But what is next for you? Actually, we should take a quick break, everybody. You guys want to take a break? Do it. Take five? All right, we will be back in about five, everybody. Hang out with us for more Frontier Scum. Come back, everybody, to Frontier Scum. The players, the scum here just got out of a uh, little scuffle with some blood vultures on the top of this here train car, trying to avoid the crazy gunfire going on down in the car itself. So, um... Lemsley had some of that sweet, sweet stew and healed herself up just right, but they are clambering over the uh, the corner or the, the top of this train car. Down, down, down. What would you guys like to do? Do we still hear gunfire? Yeah. You hear gunfire going on. You're screaming. Still happening for sure. I think we got to peak the next, uh, next, tra the next uh, car, right? What do you think? You want a peekaboo? All right. It's peekaboo. All right. Bad's Who? Gonna peekaboo. Bad's gonna peekaboo. Okay. Let me get your token. I should have brought the silver already. Where's bad? There's bad. Oh no, I have the same problem where you guys are invisible. Um. One second. I know how to fix that now. There we go. Okay, so I am going to add activate bad. What you see, you look inside here is oh, what? craziness. So the, all of the walls of this entire train car are covered in flesh. And in the distance, you see this massive heart attached to all of these appendages, these these uh, arteries, these tubes, everything all colliding and it is pulsing. And you immediately notice that the train starts to speed up and the heart starts to beat more rapidly. And this massive heart is just hanging from the air. I'll show the, the people here if they can see it. I mean, is it's as if the train itself has a beating heart. Um, I step into the room and okay. pull out um, the journal. Okay, you pull out the journal. Anything that mentions a heart. So you look into that journal and you 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 catch sight of more descriptions about the um hang on let me find it really quick where is it okay here we go so you found out that there was a patient named Naman with a peculiar affliction and you start to read more and more about that affliction. There's some appendices, let's say, some notes he took at the back of this journal. And you found out that it was a heart condition. But that is all you find. Can I see the door on the other side of the... the... Yeah, it's covered with... It's kind of like flesh is like just dripping down. Everything's... It's just this whole... This whole car is just like growth. <laughs> It's like you stepped inside of a, a living creature. What is uh, Lemsley and Slim doing as uh, Bad is taking a look around in here? 
I am aghast. Are you coming inside too? Well. Yeah, you kind of just see Bat. Like, what is Bat doing right now? Is he just standing there frozen? Like, he's, what? what is what does Slim see? Yeah, he's standing there with, like, a book in his hands, like, just, like, looking up and down at this thing and mumbling to himself or nom nom. <laughs> nom 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 nom. Um, yeah. Uh, and Bad kind of unconsciously takes a step like every couple of seconds towards the heart. Reads a little more, looks up. Takes yeah, and step as this ha- as this is happening, you can again you almost lose your feet be- or you, you lose your fall off your feet because the train starts moving even quickly or more quickly, and the heart again more rapidly as you approach this thing. Yeah. As Bad realizes that he's. <laughs> No, no. Calm down. Slow down. Whispering to the heart, trying to like convince it to like calm down. Okay. So you can move your token closer if you'd like, whatever you want to do, however close you want to get. Yeah, it's almost like subconscious. He's not really himself. Gets about halfway down here. Okay. So one of you guys, why don't you guys tell me, um, who has the highest wits? We mine is zero. Yeah, mine is zero. What about you, Rotgut? Mutes in the chat. Mutes in the chat. <laughs> Mutes in the chat. Hello. Okay. I see side Hello. of the phones. Uh, uh, minus three. <laughs> oh, all right. So between. Bad luck and slim. Why don't one of you guys choose who wants to roll? And I need a wits check. You do it, slim. Sure, I've been known to figure stuff out from time to time. A wits check. Oh, oh (laughs) dang. Okay, that's another ace, baby. Oh, yeah, or do you want to take a skill? I mean, what could my skill be on this? I can I'll perceive t- well, let me, fleshy let me, no, 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 no. Let me tell you what happens, and then you can decide. Sure. So right. you're standing there. You, you, you're you seeing, you're watching Bad slowly approach this thing. He's trying to calm this heart with his voice, and you, you think that's kind of strange because it's just this massive heart. Either way, while this is going on, while it appears as if the heart starts to beat a little bit slower, slower, you hear something behind you and you turn and you look and you see Volchester standing there behind you creeping into this cart with a double barrel shotgun aimed right at you. The doctor is double barreling us. Double barreling. Yeah. Where's well, that? That don't, that ain't good. So yeah, he he's, he's coming in, but you notice him. Oh man, I gotta adjust this guy too. Let me move you guys around a little bit so I can make him in the back. So you notice him with a gun aimed at you. What would you like to do anything? You guys are both like, huh! like he didn't notice you notice him and now you guys are just frozen in time. Well, I'll take the ace. Okay. And by noticing him, do I get like, can I act quickly? Yeah, I'll say you can act. I'm gonna shoot him in the fucking face. All right. Why don't you roll me a uh, a slick? Are you, what are you doing with your, this, your your dual revolvers here? Is it is it a tough shot? No, I'll say this is a hit. Yeah, I'll say you're pretty damn close. It's relatively quiet in here, with the exception of this beating heart. So roll Man, me, some, roll me risk, some damage. Do I auto hit with one or risk rolling with two? Oh, that's right. That's the question. With a with a shotgun in my chest, basically. 
Yeah, you guys are point blank. So he's probably going to get a good shot off too. Yeah, if I don't kill him, I'm probably dead because he's not going to have to roll tough. He just gets to shoot. Exactly. Do I think one shot's going to do it? I have aces, right? I can re-roll shots, right? Yeah. That's the one thing and I'd like to know if you can have more than one ace. I assume you can. Oh, you can. Yeah, you can stack up aces. Oh, you can? You, you can stack aces? Yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, well, then I'm going to double it because I can just re-roll a shot if I miss. Do it. Do it. All right, dueling. This will be uh, the... Uh, th so this will actually have a plus one on top of it, too. Okay. So I pull out old spit, spit right in his old face. Old spit. Hoo ya! Look at that shot. Roll me some damage. Woo! All right. Yeah, you catch him in the shoulder, and he like throws his body back, and some blood splats on the side of his face. Roll me another attack if that's what you're doing. Oh, Ooh, I'll re -roll that. you're acing I'll re -roll it. All right, that. use one of your aces. Okay, oh, another. Oh, close to a twenty. <laughs> another shot. What do you roll? Like, roll us, roll some close damage. To a 20. <laughs> okay, ah. you hit him in the other shoulder. What was that? I don't know. Oh, I accidentally rolled something. Never mind. That was a that was a reaction. <laughs> I was it's trying to I was trying to ball. remove hit points and I hit the wrong button. Anyway, he's still standing. He's kind of you know, hanging down. He's a little bit weak, but he's still standing. But he can't raise a gun. He got two blown out shoulders. He still has it at his hip. <laughs> All right, well I run. He pulls I the trigger. Move. I can move on my action, right? I dive to the ground. <sighs> You're going to dive to the ground. Well, he's going to have to roll anyway. Yeah. All right. All right, so Sorry. roll me a um, a slick. See if you get a out slick. of the way. He's only going to be using one of his, though. All right. Do you uh, want to use I'll your ace? An ace? All right, there's yeah, all your aces. Okay. One. Oh, okay. You get nice. out of the way. The buckshot goes everywhere. Tears some of the flesh from no the hat. walls and the ceiling. Yeah, you got no hat. All right, what about the rest of you? What would you guys like to do? Definitely trying to shoot this guy, I think. Okay. okay. Yeah, well, you can also kill Nom Nom. He's bleeding. He's got his, his double Nom barrel Nom? at his hip, but he is still standing. We don't know where Nom Nom is, though. No. Just shoot this fucker in the face, I say right. as I roll across the ground, <laughs> slickly dodging. Yeah. <laughs> Just imagining you rolling across the ground. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to shoot him in the face with my double-barreled shotgun. Okay. It just hits, right? Yeah, I would say right now it just hits. So roll some damage. I'll say this okay. is just you guys are close Give enough. Both barrels. Oh, he's getting both barrels. Oh man! All right. How does Mister okay. Volchester go down? Oh. Um. Hmm. So he has his gun at the hip, right? Yeah, he's like resting against his hip because he's been shot up by Slim. Okay. Um. Well, I said shoot him in the face. I I guess I'll just shoot him in the face. <laughs> All right. Well, I was gonna try this, to do something clever. So you're just gonna like just shoot him in the face. His head obliterates. Okay. So yeah, you his head. Fragments all over the place, and he drops. And all is silent. But then, everybody hears... This. Wait. End our misery. I don't hear it. Destroy the engine. You don't hear it? I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. Jack my volume. Yeah. Alright, I'll play it again. It. You heard it? Do it. End our Misery. Bad. Destroy the engine. Destroy Bad the steps. Engine? Steps towards the heart and pulls the uh, the uh, 
Molotov cocktail that he's uh, concocted and lights it. Okay. And then just tosses it as hard as he can into the heart. Okay, you toss his Molotov cocktail into the heart. It shatters. And all the alcohol gets everywhere, catching fire. And it starts to... You hear this inside your head, just this reverberating sound, this the death, uh, the throes of death of this thing. But it is and still alive, and it keeps repeating that in your head over and over and over again as it starts to, to uh, burn up. Oh, well, he pulls his his rifle up and just unloads into it, too. Roll me some damage. Okay. Uh... Okay, that's your ri- repeater rifle? Yeah. Repeater okay, rifle. three. Yeah. Explodes yeah, in blood. Shooting. You keep shooting. I need you to keep rolling, though, because you could lose your... Use your um... What about anybody else? Is anybody else doing anything? Sure. Just boom, yeah. boom. You guys are just boom. all standing like, around it. Boom, yeah. boom, boom. <gasps> well, I'm not even oh, gonna right. like. Can't I just start like pistol whipping this thing too? Yeah, you know? yeah. You guys obliterate this thing. It falls to yeah. the ground in a big wet heap. A oh, wap. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's your fa- that's your favorite, right, Rock Gut? <laughs> Hey, I didn't say it. <laughs> it's one of my favorite clips, yes. It's one of your favorite From clips. Do you guys want to see the uh, me talk about that? Uh, check out the uh, Merkborg clips. I think they're on Twitch here. I don't think we put those on YouTube. Dad walks up to the burning heart, watching the fluids pour out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just over and over again in a trance. Yeah, you definitely sense you, uh, Bad, being very close to the dead. You sense that something with some humanity was lost here. And it was not Volchester who is lying in his own blood at the end of the car. Can I go over and kick Volchester and see if a key falls out? Yeah. So you go over and you kick him. Nothing falls out. He has um, a syringe kit, though. And you see something happen. Happen? You see a twitch in his hand. Oh, no. And he jams it into his leg. No. And he rises again! No. Yes. He is no. back. What the what? But the then what? he oh. stands. He gets on his feet for a moment, and he's looking at you, holding the shotgun up at you, Lemsley. Does his head he like kind regrow? Of, yeah, his head regrows. He is back together, and he almost he looks perfect. But then momentarily, you guys almost like fall off your feet again as the train kind of jerks, slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. And Volchester, he's smiling, and then that smile turns into a sneer. And then his face turns into a look of shock. And blood starts to come out of his eyes. You see the veins and the arteries beneath his uh, skin start to pulsate. And it's as if his, his blood inside him is just boiling from the inside out. And he screams and falls to the ground. And eventually... Right. Ka-chow. The train stops. And there is one more door at the head of the train. If you would like to explore that. Yeah, let's go check it out. Okay. All right. You guys go. And let me add you here. See if I have to... uh... Man... What is up with this stuff? 50, okay. What is the order? Is Lemsley's everybody going? Is Slim going too? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll go first, I guess. Okay. 
<laughs> Sorry, I just got to fix the elevation problem again. Thought it worked, but it doesn't. All right, so you guys made it all the way to the front of the train. This appears to be a false engine, though. The train is still completed. Com it has come completely to a stop. There is no life force you can feel around you anymore. No more voices in your head. But what you do see is a huge safe in plain sight. Right ahead of you. Right in front of you. And there is a combination on the front of this safe. Four digits. So you can either guess a number or you can roll me a luck check with a DR of 18 to see if you can get inside. I feel like maybe we miss some because I feel like there's a 16 on this pistol for a reason. Yeah, for sure. Um, Like maybe Swallow's out there and there's a number on it. What I'm saying, probably 69. <laughs> Very likely. <laughs> Should we just go 1669? <laughs> 1669. <laughs> well, so we have to roll a luck check or whatever. I feel like we have half of it. Could they give us advantage on a luck check? No. Oh, um, Bad's going to look through the, the journal to see if he, he gets anything out of it, but he's not lucky. Yeah, the only number, um, yeah, you don't see any numbers or anything like that. The only number you guys know of is the one that is etched on the uh, revolver that Slim has. If it's 1669 afterwards, you have to tell us, by the way. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you if it is or, yeah. Well, I mean, if you guess, if you want to guess, you'll know if it is or isn't. Or you can roll, it's up to you. Who's the luckiest? I'm not. I, I am, they call me bad luck for a reason. Uh, I have a luck of two. And you guys, go. does anybody that have any? Zero. Does anybody have any aces? I ha I have an ace, but I also have a minus a negative uh, luck. So oh, we still get two shots at it. I got a positive two, but I only get one shot at it. And no blesses. Do you have a bless? I do have a bless, so it would probably be best for me to do it. Then. Yeah, because you get okay. two shots yeah. at least. Yeah. So here's my bless. All right, it's gonna be a dr18. Right. So roll your bless. 18. Yeah. <laughs> this is a massive get... safe. Heavy, far too heavy to drag away. All right. And then here's my help. <laughs> so you got two. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. It's. What's up? Let's take that back. I don't have any aces. I lost my aces when I rolled that one. So statistically, it's better if you do it. Uh, yeah, because so I got a plus two. Yeah. yeah. You have a All bless? right. I got nothing. Nothing? Okay. Uh, hear that, chat? I got nothing. <laughs> Give me one second while I roll this up and figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> Let me just... Take Look at some real quick here. Uh, Hold on, I need to go into the other room real quick. I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, sorry, I got a phone. Give me one second. So as you guys Just, are looking uh, around in here, you also see that behind the safe, there's the train's firebox. And it's uh, burning with discarded experiments. And oh. red smoke is billowing into the sky. Glad we got to kill that doctor. Where the heck? So, uh, so Ryan is hinting at uh, in our games we use blesses and bane. So if you'd like to donate any XP or bits, you can give him a plus one d four to his any ability check. Can I do it? What do you mean you want to get? I have so much XP. <laughs> we I only have like two hundred twenty five thousand, but um. <laughs> You can't, uh, you can't, uh, you can't do That's the rule. You can't okay. be in the game and don't know. Okay. But it seems like I'm just going to need to roll this sucker. Yeah. So let's, uh. <gasps> oh, yeah. oh, 
Oh, thank you. Thank All right. You Let's through. see. I won't even there mark it because go. I know you're going to use it. No, nah, I'm not going to use it. What? <laughs> uh, four. four. Oh, you got a three. three. You got a three. So what do you got to roll? You got, got a three and plus, you got a plus two. two. So, so that's a five. All I got to roll is what? A 13? 13 or higher. Oh my God. Oh! oh shit the third one oh, you guess so regardless you did oh, not even need the bless grass. you did not even need the bless so my ear to it and, oh you know what and and i won't even take an ace this time i will take the ability to like crack what, safes. Like, lock, crack safes okay so you get advantage on that okay i'm gonna add that to my guy here what's what skill safe cracking Oh, Safe by the way, cracking. I already had lock picking as a skill. Oh, Safe cracking and lock picking. Yeah, I think you're, my yeah. Casual loitering might have been. <laughs> All right, so you you're get close. Right joint. You t you get close yeah. and you start going through the numbers. You start with sixteen because that's the one that's marked on your gun, and you said, "Hmm, maybe this revolver came in a pair, and maybe that pair would be its twin." Which means you also put in another 16. So the number is 16, 16. Hey, thank you for the raid, everybody. Raid. We are wrapping up Frontier Scum. The characters have completed this adventure on the Oregon Rail. They are um, about to open up this massive uh, safe that is the front of the train. After so I rolled a nat 20. Nat 20. To crack it. Oh, nat yeah. 20 to crack it. So you crack this thing open. It glides open. This door glides open. And inside, you find... You can't even believe this. You've never seen so much money in your life. There is... 10,000 silver in this here chest. The only problem is, how in the Sam Hill... Are you going to get all this out of here? But anyway, I think we got to end it for tonight. On that note, with our scum here uh, successfully stopping the organ rail, uh, these brutal experiments done by Mr. Volchester, and they went away, or, uh, they, they got away very, very rich. So before we go, though, I want every one of you guys to roll me a luck check. Oh. More than the nat 20 I just did? <laughs> Yeah, everybody needs me to roll a luck. Okay. So bad. You got a 10. Oh my god. Okay. Can you guys um, decide to go check out the rest of the train because you're wondering where your belongings might be. Oh, crap. So you mosey on down back. You do find your belongings. However, what you do find is the train car where all the animals were, where you let that bear go free and the gunfire ensued. You see all three of your horses dead, lying in the no. sand. Blood <gasps> vultures just pecking their hides clean, paying you absolutely no mind. Wow. So do you guys want to roll an epilogue? So this adventure has an epilogue, which sort of, you know, says hypothetically what your characters did after this adventure. Or do we want to keep the tale of Lemsley, Slim, and Bad open-ended? Leave it open-ended. I think there's always a chance to come back to this. Yeah, I yeah. Know, as I fucking murder the fuck out of the vultures eating my horse. <laughs> so, <hell yeah. laughs> Scene goes black as the smoke comes up. Yeah, exactly. You know. We we fade to black. We spent all the time making horses and they... <laughs> <laughs> Mine was yeah, that's what was hilarious because you guys yeah. were in that car and you like just beelined it through. And then and you, you let there? your horses Dang were in it. there. I had an epic horse. Yeah. So, um... Anybody, uh, thanks everybody for hanging out with us. Hope you enjoyed Frontier Scum. If you would like us to continue, let us know on our Discord, in the YouTube comments, in the chat here. But we are gonna take off for now. Oh, oh, yeah. Before, before before we close, yeah. This is one of I I've seen a lot of uh, TTRPGs come across lately. Love Morkborg. This is like my favorite since Morkborg coming out. So. Uh, <laughs> Go, go check out where, where, where oh, where oh can you know what that reminds me it has been restocked at games omnivorous right now so go get your copy 
Gamesobnivorous.com, I believe, is back in stock. Just in time for baby bad luck. Yeah. A li little, 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 little bad luck. He's not a baby anymore. He's he's almost three years old now. Wave night. Wow. Can you wave night night to everybody? <laughs> night night. You night night. Night night. night, night. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> bye bye, buddy. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, Here you go. You. Good night. But yeah, I'll be I'll be getting myself a physical copy too because I absolutely. Oh yeah, love this totally movie. worth it. Go pick it up. It's going to be on Exalted Funeral restock there as well. So um, if you don't catch it on Games on Nervous, it should be on Exalted Funeral soon. Well, thanks for hanging out with us. Any parting words uh, from Lemsley Slim or Bad before we go to a uh, thank you screen? Just finger guns. Just some go, finger though. guns. All right. Yeah. That was fun. All right, buddy. All right. Bye, guys. See ya.